Whoa! <laughs> Look at all these moths. Hey there everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Minecraft mod review where today I'm going to be showcasing some more crazy stuff from the Orspawn mod but instead of girlfriends this time we are going ahead and taking a look at the new boss style mobs that this mod introduces. There are a fair few in here so let's dive straight in and also I've got one of my friends here, this is Teddy the Wolf, he has tamed me and he's going to help me out in taking down some of these bosses and I've also got a diamond sword in here, As you can see on the top left I've also got damage indicators to see how much damage stuff is doing to these bosses and how much health they have and I've got this which is the ultimate sword and I don't know how much damage this does but it's got sharpness x, smite x, bane of arthropods x, knockback 4, 5 sorry, looting 5, unbreaking 5 and fight aspect 3 so pretty crazy sword and I've got this ultimate armor on as well because I'm going to be doing it in normal game mode so game mode 0 or uh, survival mode just to see if it actually can be done so this has a lot of stuff on it as well got all of the enchantments maximum so we don't die so let's um head over into game mode 0 and start this so over here in this chest we've got loads of dried kind of eggs they're called ancient dry eggs now we're going to start off with the basilisk and you actually need lots of water for these so i'm pretty sure that you mine these from your surroundings and then you take them back to your crafting table and because they're dried, you need to take them and a bucket of water into a crafting table to create the egg. So if we take the ancient dried basilisk spawn egg, because this is the first one we're going to take down, right click on the crafting table and then put the ancient dried egg on the bottom, water bucket on the top, and it'll actually give you the normal spawn egg and of course your bucket back. So, um, are you ready Teddy? Let's um, get yourself up and see what is going to go down with this basilisk. I'm, I'm pretty scared that Teddy is going to die really quickly. So take a look at the face, he's cute, he's loyal, and he will always be be in our memory so um come on teddy you ready for this are you pumped are you pumped let's do this basilisk here we go i haven't tested any of these just as a final note because i just wanted to kind of do it on a on a whim i guess on the fly so here comes the basilisk oh damn oh my god what's it doing to me stay back you beast it's actually giving me poison and slowness wow stay back he's got 150 health oh god and the wolf is killing the sheep instead so come on teddy what are you doing? Stop Stop coming after the wolf. This is really difficult. He gives us really bad slowness. The ultimate sword needs to come in. It's doing five damage with a diamond sword. And where is his hit radius? I can't even hit him. Come on. There we go. 50 damage. There we go. We need to kill this bad boy. Oh, my God. One more hit should be able to do it. And I'm going to kill him with diamond sword. Yes, he's dead. So, wow. Poison and slowness. It's good job we have this armor on. That slowness was killing me. And it looks like he drops a load of chicken and wet. Oh, my God. No. Teddy has passed away already. Teddy! Teddy, no! The sheep are just watching on like, heh. Yeah, I'm glad that happened. But I'm, I'm really upset. I thought that Teddy would actually survive longer than that. But the basilisk was pretty damn insane. So as you saw, it's kind of like a big snake. Like the one from the Harry Potter films. But he drops lots of stuff. So there's new tools here. There is emeralds, seeds randomly. But I think that's from the grass. And chicken. So we got an emerald sword. So this obviously adds in new tool sets which i'll cover in a different um video got an emerald chest plate and some raw chicken as well as some random seeds so what we're going to do now is um here's the bone um this is kind of like a ode to uh teddy i can't believe he actually died straight away that's so sad but that was a pretty insane boss my god so what we're going to do now is move on to the dried scorpion and give ourselves a bucket of water as well shush bird but hey hey pipe down bird come on god there we go. So let's um, put a our dried egg in there and then our water on top and we'll be given a spawn scorpions. Here we go. The spawn scorpion's coming in and he's really tiny. And there's a reason that I'm showing you this one. This is like a normal one. What's he do to us? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> he's just doing a little bit of damage. So he's got 15 health. He's just like a normal kind of scorpion. And he's making a frog sound. I mean, why are you doing that? And he drops golden nuggets. That is pretty awesome. But the reason that I'm showing you this is because in here we have the emperor scorpion so this is the daddy of the scorpions and he's usually found in the desert biomes and we're going to find out what he is all about so let's put the emperor scorpion ow what the what the hell is that get away from me no sir sir this is not your time to shine no what's going on that was completely out of order those are actually attack squids something's really going down over here my god something i think someone's killing a girlfriend this mod is actually crazy these are attack squids they are very annoying and 
apparently give you blindness but when you kill them they give golden apples but i'll cover that in a different video because they're awesome and annoying at the same time so where were we before we were rudely interrupted we are trying to take down the emperor scorpion so let's do this and whoa he's flinging me into the air this guy's huge and he's spawning the tiny ones in as well Oh, wow, he's giving me poison. He's giving me poison, as you would expect. So he's got 194 health. Back off. Son, back off. Back off. He's actually really difficult. Wow. So, um, yeah, 200 health he had. He's got a little bit of a glitch there with the damage indicators, but we've got the tiny ones coming out as well. That killed that sheep. Oh, my God, he's going after the sheep too. Save the sheep. Save them. Oh, my God. There's so many of these. Wow, look how many he's spawning. If I was in normal circumstances, as in without this ultimate... Um, weapon and armor i would be absolutely dead right now wow <laughs> this is crazy look how big he is as well come here no it looks like you can't really attack him from the front either oh take out the squids do it yes he took them all out that's what i like to see so we're gonna try and get in here oh yes the ultimate sword is doing its work yes 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 come at me bro get out of here you, you punk so i don't any more left he killed on them squids, which was beautiful. So what we got was obsidian, raw meat, and diamonds, and a lot of levels as well. We got 10 levels. It looks like it was 10 levels for the basilisk as well. So what do we get? We actually got an ultimate bow as well, which is another ultimate weapon. We've got a diamond. We've got some obsidian. A diamond pickaxe, so really worth taking down if you come across, but... It is so damn difficult to do. You saw that. That was crazy. He was flinging him in the air. The only reason I could kill him is because I had this ultimate sword. But yeah, that was really interesting. So what have we got up next in our box of nasty... What are you doing? God, my God. Okay, he's dead. So what have we got? We have the ancient dried alien spawn egg. So let's craft this and um, put it in here like this. Get our bucket back and we'll be able to spawn in the alien. So I'm not sure what this one's doing. And there's so many of these now. Wow, it spawned way too many. And they're really quick too. So let's go over here, spawn in the alien and see what happens. Whoa, oh my God, it's the actual alien from Aliens vs. Predator. What? No, <laughs> stop flinging him in the air. God damn it. So this alien has 100 health. That's pretty beast. And he is fast. Wow, look at him. He's like kind of spinning around me and then zooming in for the kill. Wow, I did not expect it to be Alien from Predator, but this is a cool looking model. It looks really like the Alien vs. Predator mod that I um, covered in a previous mod. Oh my god, he inflicts poison as well. This is not good. You're going to have to be taken down, sir. He is so quick. Wow, he's so, so quick. He's flinging him in the air and everything. How much health you got? He's on fire. Yes, he's on fire. You die, sir. You die. You die. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. He's making something crazy, crazy noise as well. Oh, that was that was a bit insane, wasn't it? So what have we got here? We've got maps, we've got spider eyes, we've got compasses, experience, flint, and yeah, lots of crazy stuff. There we've got a clock, flint, a random map. Does this map say anything? No, it's just from our own experience. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I didn't expect it to be the actual alien from the films, but hey, that is awesome. We've also got, that didn't give us much experience, but it gave a decent amount. So what we're going to move on to now, um, actually, I need to grab some food. So let's do that. Grab us some food of choice, um, as I always like to go with the golden chicken. Look at all this stuff this mod adds, by the way. It's coming up in future videos. Crazy amount of stuff. Wow. So, let's go back into game mode zero and open up another can of worms. Or, for this one, a water dragon. Wow. So, we're going to actually give birth to the water dragon. That sounded a bit weird, but um, here comes the water dragon. I'm not sure what he's going to do. Oh, that's the thing that was in the... Um, oh, my God. That was the thing that was in the water attacking something else so he has a really rapid fire kind of water attack he will also throw you in the air but he only has a hundred health so we could probably take him down with a diamond sword wow he's really flinging him in the air it's really awkward and things do that but he's got a long range attack and a close range attack as well you're going down son oh this experience over there too he's making a pretty gross sound um not sure about that but <laughs> here we go take him down take him down take him down so imagine if i didn't have this armor he still is actually doing decent damage to me um considering the power of this armor so let's take him out come on you're going down buddy you are going down so that long range attack does actually have knockback too as well as him flicking you in the air wow you it's the final blow yes and he actually drops a load of raw fish so um if you want raw fish go for that but you also get some experience and there's some experience over here we didn't collect either and some golden nuggets but that is a different story right then i'm getting really impressed by these boss mobs so up next is the kraken so this one is said to be pretty damn hard to kill so we're gonna try it out here we go uh oh don't um <laughs> that scares me just a little bit so i'm um, gonna take this and let's actually do no let's do this let's do this 
Take down the Kraken. Can we do this? This is apparently like the daddy of the attack squids, which we'll cover in a different episode. But, um, the Kraken. I'm scared. Let's do it. He's gone. He's not, he's not even gone. What the hell happened? Right, so I think I'm back where I was killed. And here we go. Oh my god, the Kraken is here. He destroyed me. He absolutely exploded... I, d I don't even know. He just destroyed me. He didn't explode anything. That was just a hole in the floor. But I got my experience back. Where's my stuff? Here's my stuff. Oh my god, that was... You can't kill him in normal mode. I have the ultimate armor on and he just... As soon as I spawned him in, he absolutely destroyed my life. Absolutely destroyed it. So what he does is he kind of changes the weather, it looks like. So um, let's put this armor back on just for a later boss and rearrange all my stuff. Because he completely destroyed me. There we go. Ultimate sword. Right. Let's see this bad boy. Where'd you go? I want you to die because you killed me. So he's, it looks like he's disappeared, actually. Um, <laughs> what's going on? It's snowing incredibly, uh, quite a lot. Uh, wow. <laughs> right then, so I think I'm actually going to leave that one until last because it looks like he kind of runs away from here and I kind of want this chest to be here. So I'm going to leave that one for now and come back to it. It was scary. I did not like it whatsoever. So what we're going to do now is go for the Mothra. And I'm actually going to stay in creative for this one because... Um, I don't know how much damage it's going to do. The Mothra is apparently really scary too, so let's um, give birth to it. Here comes the Mothra. What? It's massive! Oh, that looks amazing! I'm oh, Surely I can take this out in Game Mode Zero. Here we go. Does it come after me? That is the question. Does it come after me? Here we go. The Mothra is coming down. It's got 100 HP or health, whatever you want to call it. And it looks like it flies, so let's go to Game Mode 1 again. And see what it does, because it should still attack me. It's huge. Oh my god, it's attacking the host the um the normal mobs with its fireballs. So it looks like it actually does launch out fireballs towards you and it will kill passive mobs as well. So this is huge, it's like a massive butterfly. You must die now, sir. Sir. Feel the taste of my ultimate sword. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Look at all these moths. That's a crazy, crazy explosion. So it actually explodes into a array of mo I think this is what is this? There we go. It's a moth scale, golden nuggets, and blaze rods. That's crazy. That looked really awesome, actually. So he will fire fire at you and fly around. So he's going to be very, very difficult to kill in your normal game mode zero or survival mode. So yeah, really interesting one there. And before I go on to the what's it called? The the Kraken again. I am going to move on to a couple of them that you can actually spawn in for the normal vanilla mob. So uh, I explained that really badly. But what you can actually do is spawn in the Wither Skeleton, the Ender Dragon, and the Wither Boss. So I'm going to bring these over here and use the buckets of water to bring them to life. And it's pretty handy. It's just like a way to bring in the bosses rather than searching them out. So it's fairly handy if you want kind of like nether stars and stuff like that. So let's bring in the Wither Boss. Let's bring in this one which is the ender dragon and we'll bring in the wither skeleton too so wither skeleton first there we go i've never actually found one of these in normal survival mode so this is the wither skeleton he drops normal stuff like coal and a bow and then you've got the ender dragon which i'm scared to launch but i guess it can't be as scary as the krakens here we go ender dragon he's in here he's he's raging we're going to take him out he's got 200 health this should be easy work for the ultimate sword and take i love the ender dragon the ender dragon is just so amazing the, the models and the way he moves, it's sweet. So let's kill him. See what happens in this world, actually. So here we go. The death animation for the Ender Dragon. Whoa. Does it actually spawn in the, like, little fountain thing? Let's, let's have a look. Here comes the experience. And yes, it actually does. So you can get your spawn egg and your end portal and the final credits in your vanilla world rather than having to go to the end. So that's pretty cool. If you find the end dragon, it's not going to be easy, but it's going to be a way to fight him in your vanilla world. Do I recommend it? Probably not. Not anywhere near your base anyway. And I'm not going to go through here because I don't want to go through the credits, but this looks sweet. That is awesome. So what we're going to do now is the Wither Boss 2. Here we go. There's the Wither. He is mental, as you know. I really like the Wither Boss 2. He is sweet, and he was very, very easy to kill. My god. That was easy with the Ultimate Sword. He didn't drop the Wither Star. But if there's a way you want to get both of these bosses, rather than going through all your means of going to the end and stuff like that and spawning in the Wither, then go for it. You can get really good drops from these, and it's a little bit easier. So yeah, definitely useful for that. And now we are going to spawn in the Kraken. So I'm just going to grab it from here and see what this bad boy has to offer. So we can only... We need some more water, actually, because it's not got a Spawn Egg. 
So here we go. Um, let's go over to our crafting table and spawn in this bad boy to end the mod review and we should have a fun time. So this is apparently really hard to kill in creative as well. Did I spawn it in? Where did it go? Hello? Oh, here it is. Oh my god, the modeling on this is crazy. Look at this. It's got 300 health. Looks like he spawns in loads of lightning so you could get killed. And maybe he teleports too. I'm not too sure. He's got some really awesome tentacles going on. And yeah, I really like the modeling on this. It's sweet. He's got teeth. My god, imagine trying to kill this in normal normal mode. It's actually really difficult to get because one, he um, kind of flies. Two, he's massive. And yeah, you're going to have to get the ultimate kind of stuff to take him down. So if I get the ultimate bow, I'm not sure if it needs arrows or anything because I haven't used this mod before. But um, let's go. Ugh. What does it do? I'm not sure. Will it take him out? There we go. There we go. It's actually working. Here we go. That's better. Yes. Take him right out. So I want to see how to kill him. Um, or what happens when you do kill him. Look at them teeth. My god, he is menacing. One of the most menacing bosses I think I've seen ever added to Minecraft before. Uh, all of these are really well made, actually. It's pretty random what um, kind of mods they are in, but it looks sweet and is super fun as well. Don't run away from me, sir. He's really speedy, too. Wow. And it's turning to night. Oh, what has he got in his hand? Where are you taking that lizard? What is wrong with you? Whoa, what is going on here? What has happened? He has spawned in like six more Krakens. What the hell? I don't even know if I killed him. That is how bad this is. So yeah, when I got close to killing the Kraken, it actually spawned in like six more, which is crazy. It lagged my game out like crazy. So I'm going to end the mod review here. And that is pretty much what this part of the mod has to offer. There will be more vi videos in the future mentioning like the battle squids and stuff like that. So if you want to try out these bosses for yourself, then please go to the description below to check them out. And also if you happen to be new to the channel and you did enjoy this video, then please do hit that subscribe button for daily Minecraft videos. And for all of you, a like and a favorite would be greatly appreciated too. So thanks a lot guys for watching. Do check out my social media links in the description below as well. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>
What are you doing? Stop Stop coming after the wolf. This is really difficult. He's giving us really bad slowness. The ultimate sword needs to come in. It's doing five damage with a diamond sword. And where is his hit radius? I can't even hit him. Come on. There we go. 50 damage. There we go. We need to kill this bad boy. Oh, my God. One more hit should be able to do it. And I'm going to kill him with diamond sword. Yes, he's dead. So, wow. Poison and slowness. It's good job we have this armor on. That slowness was killing me. And it looks like he drops a load of chicken and wet. Oh, my God. No. Teddy has passed away already. Teddy! Teddy, no! The sheep are just watching on like, heh. Yeah, I'm glad that happened. But I'm, I'm really upset. I thought that Teddy would actually survive longer than that. But the basilisk was pretty damn insane. So as you saw, it's kind of like a big snake. Like the one from the Harry Potter films. But he drops... Lots of stuff. So there's new tools here. There is emeralds, seeds randomly, but I think that's from the grass, and chicken. So we got an emerald sword. So this obviously adds in new tool sets, which I'll cover in a different um, video. Got an emerald chest plate and some raw chicken as well as some random seeds. So what we're going to do now is... Um, Here's the bone. Um, this is kind of like a ode to uh, Teddy. I can't believe he actually died straight away. That's so sad. But that was a pretty insane boss. My god. So what we're going to do now is move on to the dried scorpion. And give ourselves a bucket of water as well. Shush. Bird. Bird. Hey. Hey. Pipe down, bird. Come on, god. There we go. So let's um, put a our dried egg in there. And then our water on top. And we'll be given a spawn scorpions. Here we go. The spawn scorpion's coming in. And he's really tiny. And there's a reason that I'm showing you this one. This is like a normal one. What does he do to us? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> he's just doing a little bit of damage. So he's got 15 health. He's just like a normal kind of scorpion. And he's making a frog sound. I mean, why are you doing that? And he drops golden nuggets. That is pretty awesome. But the reason that I'm showing you this is because in here we have the emperor scorpion so this is the daddy of the scorpions and he's usually found in the desert biomes and we're going to find out what he is all about so let's put the emperor scorpion ow what the what the hell is that get away from me no sir sir this is not your time to shine no what's going on that was completely out of order those are actually attack squids. Something's really going down over here. My god, something... I think someone's killing a girlfriend. This mod is actually crazy. These are attack squids. They are very annoying. And apparently give you blindness. But when you kill them, they give golden apples. But I'll cover that in a different video. Because they're awesome and annoying at the same time. So, where were we before we were rudely interrupted? We are trying to take down the Emperor Scorpion. So let's do this. And whoa, he's flinging me into the air. This guy's huge. And he's spawning the tiny ones in as well. Oh, wow, he's giving me poison. He's giving me poison, as you would expect. So he's got 194 health. Back off. Son, back off. Back off. He's actually really difficult. Wow. So, um, yeah, 200 health he had. He's got a little bit of a glitch there with the damage indicators. But we've got the tiny ones coming out as well. And I killed that sheep. Oh, my God, he's going after the sheep too. Save the sheep. Save them. Oh, my God. There's so many of these. Wow, look how many he's spawning. If I was in normal circumstances, as in without this ultimate... Um, weapon and armor i would be absolutely dead right now wow <laughs> this is crazy look how big he is as well come here no it looks like you can't really attack him from the front either oh take out the squids do it yes he took them all out that's what i like to see so we're going to try and get in here oh yes the ultimate sword is doing its work yes 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 come at me bro get out of here you, you punk so i don't any more left he killed all them squids, which was beautiful. So what we got was obsidian, raw meat, and diamonds, and a lot of levels as well. We got 10 levels. It looks like it was 10 levels for the basilisk as well. So what did we get? We actually got an ultimate bow as well, which is another ultimate weapon. We've got a diamond. We've got some obsidian. A diamond pickaxe, so really worth taking down if you come across, but... It is so damn difficult to do. You saw that. That was crazy. He was flinging him in the air. The only reason I could kill him is because I had this ultimate sword. But yeah, that was really interesting. So what have we got up next in our box of nasty... What are you doing? God, my God. Okay, he's dead. So what have we got? We have the ancient dried alien spawn egg. So let's craft this and um, put it in here like this. Get our bucket back and we'll be able to spawn in the alien. So I'm not sure what this one's doing. And there's so many of these now. Wow, it spawns way too many. And they're really quick too. So let's go over here, spawn in the alien and see what happens. Whoa, oh my God, it's the actual alien from Aliens vs. Predator. What? No, <laughs> stop flinging him in the air. God damn it. So this alien has 100 health. That's pretty beast. And he is fast. Wow, look at him. He's like kind of spinning around me and then zooming in for the kill. Wow, I did not expect it to be Alien from Predator, but this is a cool looking model. It looks really like the Alien vs. Predator mod that I um, covered in a previous mod. Oh my god, he inflicts poison as well. This is not good. You're 